Why would you ever go after a child? This right here is 21 year old Dylan. He made one of the biggest mistakes of his life. He went after a 15 year old, knowing she was 15. As you'll see in this episode, he is going to live to regret this for the rest of his life. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Let's go ahead and get right into the video. And then he lies about his age, saying he just turned 18. He asks if he should stop and get condoms. The chatter wants to know his name, and Dylan tells yet another lie, that his name is Jose. He then demands a video and acknowledges again she's underage. But that's not dissuading Dylan, or should I say Jose, to head over and meet with someone he thinks is an underage girl for s The sheriff's decoy acts as the lookout, relaying Dylan's movements as he approaches the house. Walking toward the house. Now, I want to say this. All the things he could have done before he got up to this point, all the things he could have thought about, all the things he could have done, and remember, this girl has said that she's 15. He had the choice not to come here. He had a choice not to come here. He was not brought here under false pretenses that she was um, 19 years old, 20 years old. No, he was brought over here to himself thinking that she was 15. This is a decoy, obviously. But my point is, is he knew, at least to him, that she was 15. He could have never engaged in this conversation. When you see this man's reaction to him realizing what he's done, I want you to just sit back and think to yourself, why didn't he stop himself? We've disguised her identity for her safety. Hi. Sorry, that door sticks and it's really weird. Mm -hmm. Please. Yeah, we're it's slowly getting worked on a little bit. And so we're in the process of painting right now. Oh, really? And the heat's all messed up. So I wait in the wings, good. listening in on their conversation. Um, I have a couple of drinks here. <laughs> um, my phone's almost dead. I'm gonna run upstairs and throw it in the charger real fast. I'll be right back. Right. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do you smoke? A little bit, yeah. I have a lighter upstairs. Do you want? I have some stuff in my car if you want to smoke. She is 15. Okay? In his eyes, she's 15. So not, not only is he going over here to do heinous acts, he's pounding on this by also saying, do you want to use marijuana, which is also illegal for you? This man does not care about this girl. And that's going to be the recurring theme here. I, don't, I want you to notice how selfish these men get. Instead of thinking about the child in any way, they always think about themselves and what they're going to get out of it. Not that she's 15, not that she can be e easily manipulated, none of that. No, I gotta get my rocks off because I'm just curious. Oh, I already have stuff. Um, I'll grab my lighter real oh. fast. Yep, something else. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm gonna take your hands out of your pockets. Oh, he tries to head for the door but I cut him off before he can get there. And right away, he knows exactly what's about to happen. Yes, you have to sit right over there. Come on. Sit, sit right over there, we'll talk about it. No, I don't want to. You have to. You can do this, you can do this. Why, why, why are you hiding your face now? <laughs> why are you hiding your face now? We're gonna go ahead and continue a little bit forward here after he gets caught up with the police. I don't want you to hear how he tried to justify what he did, but why are you hiding your face? Now you didn't want to hide your face back then. You were, you were proud to show it to this little girl, but now you want to hide your face? You're embarrassed? That she was 19, and then I was like, wait, you have to sign up with a social security number on the website, so she must be 19. I thought she was she lying. She said 15. I know, but I thought she was lying. She because, was very clear about it. Yeah, but then, the thing is, the ahead. thing is, hold on. That you have to sign up with your ID and stuff, I believe. So, like, I knew she was 19. And when, she, when I showed up in the door, if she was actually 15, I was going to leave. But I saw that she looked like she was 19 or 20. What benefit? What benefit could there have been of her saying, I'm 15 and her actually being 19? Tell me, 
why would you think that she was lying about that? Like, what? I mean, even if she was lying about it, like what would make you think, you know what? I'm going to go over to this girl's house who's lying about being 15 and I know she's actually 19. And in the text messages we showed earlier, you were scared that you might get in trouble as she's actually 15. So why even show up? Like, why would you want to be with the girl who lies about her age to say that she's younger? <laughs> like, why would you want to be with the girl who would say she was a certain age to get you in trouble? You know what I'm saying? What is the best case scenario of anything of what you're saying? We all know it's a lie, but what's the best case scenario? Nothing. There was no way she was 15. You had a specific conversation about her being 15 and you being worried about getting caught with somebody who was 15. Yeah, because because at first I was that's before I realized like wait she has a social security number on that thing. Well, they don't need to do that to get on yep. these sites. No, don't they, they need that? to just say they're 19 and kids get on these sites by saying they're 19 when they're actually 15, 14, or sometimes 13. Exactly. So kicking that's out. how they get on, and then you start talking about French kissing. You Wear a skirt and leggings. Uh, mm, but I sit, but I you gotta sit down for security reasons. Okay, that's just the way it has to be. Can I you like move my wrist a little bit? Let's you need to sit though. You tell her you've got an average-sized penis. Why would you say that to a child? Well, I thought she was 19 because I, because the whole it because I thought it was a social security number and the there's no social ID, security well, number. ID, yeah, that's stupid. That's but the ID yeah. thing on the website. How does a guy <laughs> level of intelligence? Get caught in a situation like this. Well, because oh, she opened the door and she looked 19. Okay, but you drove. I know. Long today? I know. How long did you drive today? Well, I'm coming home from Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor. And what are you doing in Ann Arbor? I was going to U of M to see my friends. I'm just so still like I'm still trying to fathom like how does a girl look 15, right? You, there are some teenage girls that look much older than they are, depending on if they wear makeup and stuff like that. Right, the camera's having problems. They could be look. They could look a certain way depending on if they wear makeup or anything like that, and they can look much older. So, what do you mean if she looked fifteen? <laughs> if she looked it, like what would? You, how could you tell she was fifteen versus if she was seventeen? How would you tell she was fifteen versus eighteen? It's just a, such a dumb argument. He's gonna try to plead this, but she said she was fifteen. It doesn't matter if you went there and thought she was really not. She said. She was another age, man. Friends in, at University of Michigan, and you came back up here because you go to school at where? Michigan Tech? Yeah. Oh, my God. And do you Fucking live stupid. on your own, or do you live with your parents? Or? He's gonna... <sighs> my parents. Your parents. Are they going to know about this? Well, I'm just, please. it's up to you to tell See? them. Please. See? Not even caring about the little girl. I told you. You're going to see that these men are selfish. Are my parents going to know about this? What about the girl? Did you think about her life? I just... But I, again, I have can a hard time... Can I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I talk to like, the... You can. They're going to want to talk to you in a minute once we're finished. But, but I need you to do, explain to me I how... Like, 20, no, you don't because it's a commission of a crime. Well, no, but like consent to this whole... No, you well, walked in I, here without I, a reasonable well, no, but can I, can I? Yeah, but to this interview. You're in the commission of a I know, but can I, can I... You can say whatever you want. Can I, you're done, buddy. Let's go ahead and move forward here. When he gets in trouble with the cops. I, it's just a very interesting ending, and then we're going to see what this man was charged with. Let's move it forward. You don't. That's the problem. What do you say to your friends who you just left in Ann Arbor at the University of Michigan? Who think you're an upstanding I, student? Um, well, this is going to ruin my life. You ruined your life, Dylan, when you decided I to come over here to have sex with a 15 year old girl. I, I was good. Mm. Because you're not going to believe me when I said I... Well, try me. <laughs> try me. This is going to be everywhere, isn't it? This is going to be everywhere. All my friends are going to see it. Oh, you ain't going to have no more friends, buddy. I'm going to go and wrap that up. It's over. This might have ruined my life. This might have actually ruined my life. What do you do? How do you get out of this? I may never know exactly what Dylan was going to tell me next. Because another man just pulled into the driveway. Okay, I'm pulling up now. Okay, that's it. These guys want to see you. It's a bad dash to get everyone back into position. The team whisks Dylan I, I to an away. I wonder when he's view. thinking at that moment, like, oh man, they're about to catch another guy. Another sicko just like me. 
Dillon, a.k.a. Jose, was charged with four felonies, costing a child for immoral purposes, child sexually abusive activity, and two counts of using a computer to commit a crime. After he was arraigned, Dillon was released on a personal recognizance bond as he awaits his day in court. Marquette County Sheriff Greg Zybert knows that child <laughs> come from all walks of life. All walks of life. I'm going to show you one thing I didn't show you earlier. Just want you to see when he was getting arrested here. She won though, and again. I have a college life. degree. I have, I'm gonna get a college degree. Please. Do hey, don't worry about it, girl. Okay. That's the one thing I ask. No, ruin my life. Please. Oh, okay. Take Please. a deep breath and relax, okay? Dude, stand up. I'm gonna go get a college degree, then I ruin my life. This is the same thing I always talk about, and this is the most important thing about these videos. They will never care about the child. I say this also, man. I hope this guy gets help. I hope that his life goes on. But once again, he can never be around children. What he did is disgusting. And I hope he gets the full justice system. I hope that he can turn his life around from this point on. Go on and do what he's going to do. We never have to see his face ever again. It's hard to say this because it's so easy to say, ah, he made a mistake. I want to say this as well. Not all people who look at the adult entertainment industry or addicts that, you know, are <clears throat> not all the addicts go into this and end up falling into um, such a heinous thing, like going after minors. I'm not here to say all addicts do that, but a lot of the time, the people who do do who do do this also happen to be addicts, right? People who continue to look at videos after video after video of women and fantasizing more and more, it always gets worse. That's what addiction will always be. This man was probably looking at a lot of videos and eventually he kept getting into fantasy more and more. What the porn industry teaches you that's so disgusting when it goes from stepsister to stepfather to mother to brother to sister to 18 year olds to her and this and that. And the more you get yourself into that evil, sick world, it's going to make you do stuff like this. I'm telling you guys, men, stay away from from the adult industry it will not help you in any way it only gets worse but let me know what you think about this do you think this man should be to be honest with you i'm questioning what kind of job can a person like this get what kind of job you think would be safe where this person could be away from children at all times and you think he should always never ever be able to be around a child ever again I know some people, because I personally, I have worked with individuals who were on this list who are still allowed to work with children. So let me know what you think about that. I obviously don't think you should be able to do that. But some things, some places, some counties, some cities, some states, some freaking crimes just go overlooked. So let me know what you think about that. Goodbye.